Hello everyone. In this episode, I wanted to talk about brush libraries in Painter and how you can migrate them from one version to another. So my background is that I've more or less recently just discovered Painter, but I started with Painter 2020, installed a bunch of cool brushes that came with the Humble Bundle that I got, which was really cool. They installed themselves there. They kind of installed themselves in a category, making it larger and larger and very difficult for me to navigate. And then of course I upgraded to Painter 2021 one and my brushes didn't migrate automatically so I had to do this manually and uh, this is something that can be done in a couple of ways so let me show you those one is directly from within painter and the other way is from uh, directly from the file structure I'll show you this on both Windows and Mac let me just talk vocabulary here for a little bit so at the top left corner these are the brush libraries here each library has various categories on the left and then each of those categories has various brushes inside them and each of these can be imported and exported so you can export a whole library or a category or a single brush directly from within painter but that if you have a multitude of brushes you might want to rearrange them differently and i find that very cumbersome from from within painter so i'll show you this way that they've designed and then i'll show you i'll show you another way how you do this on the file system so up here on this little hamburger icon if you click that you get this import and export option here and that is how you can export a whole library a category or a brush and then you can also import those again out here. You can also invoke this menu by right clicking on a category directly. So if you right click, then you have import and export here as well, but you can't really do that with categories. So that's a way to do this. This saves one file that is interchangeable between operating systems. So you can export on Windows and import on Mac or the other way around. That is possible. It's kind of cool. But if you have a lot of brushes or you want to rearrange them, then that's going to be a bit difficult. So let me go and minimize Painter and show you where these brush libraries are actually stored so that you can make your own collections like I've made here, the Jay's Humble Brushes. When I installed them, they all ended up at the bottom of the 2021 brushes. And this is already a very long menu I didn't want to have any more of those in there so you can use this to split these up and reorganize them and if you don't want to export and import them out here's how you do that on Windows you open yourself a file explorer and then go to a kind of a hidden folder on your system drive I've got it under users here so this is my C drive under users under my usernames of Versal is my name. Thanks, Windows, for not making it J vs. Lewis as it should be, but that's okay. We'll speak about this later. Over here, there's a hidden folder called App Data. So it's kind of grayed out. If you don't see it or if you don't see any hidden folders, head over to the View menu here in the Windows Explorer and then check this box here, Hidden Items. When you enable that, then App Data will show. So here you can go double click on this and then you head over to Roaming. There's only three folders in here. So the bottom one is Roaming. And then you have Corel. And in Corel, you have Painter 2021 or your particular version of Painter. And if you double click in that, you have default. It just goes on and on. And in that, you have brushes. And this is the directory that's kind of important to us. So in here, I have several directories, most of which match what I've seen directly in Painter. So not all of them, but some brushes are overwritten here. So these brushes are also, some of them are in a different directory that comes with the installation that's in the in the uh, programs files, I believe. But if they are also here, then these will take precedence over that. So like here, I've got my 2021 brushes and in here, I've got literally every single brush that can be shown. I've got one additional one actually that I wanted to get out of here and um, I'll just show you how that works. It's called the Don Ziegmiller pack. He's an artist and this is a pack I've picked up through Humble Bundle. The other ones came with Painter. So the ones that you install additionally, they come as a folder. In the folder, you have all the brush files, leave those intact. We have this folder, but we also have a corresponding thumbnail that has the same name as the folder here. Can you see that? This is the Don Siegmiller pack.jpg. And if I copy those out, if I delete those out of this folder, then the brush pack will be removed from this particular brush library. So the Painter 2021 brushes. Let me go and do that actually. Let me go and uh, say cut this out and then go back to the top here and make myself a brand new folder in this folder. So that's the, the hidden secret app data folder. Whatever folder I make here will become my new uh, brush library. So I'll call this here maybe a test. 
And now this isn't going to show up in Painter because it's empty. So at least one category needs to be in there for this to show up in Painter. So in my case, I'm going to go and paste the files in that I've just cut out, the Don Siegmiller pack. And this is now going to show up as my new brush library here. So now I should have Jay's Humble Brushes, all these ones, and the new test one. For my new library to show up here, I need to close Painter down. Let me do that quickly. Let me check out my libraries here. And there it is, the test library has greeted us, which is great. And if I click on that now, I should have exactly one category in there, which is the Don Siegmiller pack. It has all the brushes that I want, it's perfect. So this is how I can reassemble my own brush libraries. If one of them is too big, or if I'd like to have a smaller one or something, this is how I can do it. And this is in fact how I took all the installed Humble brushes and put them into my own little folder here. Now on the Mac, the folder location is a little bit different, but it's the principle is exactly the same. Let's go to have a look at this. This is on the Mac. I don't have Painter running on here right now, but if I open a new Finder window, then I can show you that under the Applications folder, we have the Corel Painter folder, and in here we have the Brushes folder. And this is in fact where all these brushes are. And you can see here, I've literally just copied the whole folder over from Windows onto my Mac system, and all the brushes appear here in the Macintosh version as well. So they're totally interchangeable between both systems. And that's really all there's to it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, then don't hesitate to drop them down below in the comments. If, you, if I do know the answer, then I will let you know. If you like this video, then please, of course, share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And other than that, I will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.